What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel for another bottom at Christmas challenge. We've already taken the teams from the bottom of English, Spanish and French football and somehow managed to survive with them. Today we take ourselves over to Germany where the team at the bottom of the league is Greuterfurt. I believe I said that right. It's either Furt or Furt. I, I have no idea how the U with the umlaut, um, umlauts is pronounced. But let's dive into it because they are the team at the bottom of the Bundesliga and we have taken control of them. So I will say this is SPVGG Greuter Furt, I believe is how this is said. And we have taken over as their manager. They have some fantastic kits. I love, 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 love this home kit here. Um, and this is our stadium. Stadium looks okay, but they are in 18th in the Bundesliga. Now, believe it or not, they're not actually anywhere near as far down as some of the other ones that we've, uh, some of the other challenges that we've actually covered. Um, because if you double the points, we go into sixth. Like, it's, it's really not the end of the world. This Bundesliga is really, really tight. Um, unfortunately, though, uh, if we expand the Bundesliga uh, championship race, if you dare call it that, the league, whatever, uh, three victories all season out of 17 games, three draws and 11 losses. My main worry is that we've scored 18 goals and we've conceded 34 thus far, uh, including uh, giving us that minus 16 goal difference. Um, the results, as I said, have been relatively ropey. Got knocked out of the German Cup in the second round by Hertha, so no German Cup to worry about. Naturally, there's no uh, European trophies on offer with this particular side. Um, but the run, of, the run of games has been pretty bad. Beating Gladbach is actually a very, very good result. Uh, beating Union Berlin, again, another sort of uh, team in there. Uh, but our first game will be in charge, of, uh, in charge against Stuttgart. But the club's in a really, really bad state, guys. Uh, this is our current coaching situation uh, or staff situation, which is horrendous. You guys know this is always something that I try and adhere to and sort of really sort out first and foremost. I'm not really worried about the recruitment side of stuff because we're only going to be here for a few months. But the coaching side of stuff, the medical staff, we really need to improve those as much as humanly possible. Finances, though. Uh, we don't have any. We've got a zero transfer budget and we've got around 3k a week to work with in terms of our wage budget. So not the best in any capacity. In terms of the tactic that we are going to use, this is the glory, glory Manchester United tactic that I used in the beta with Manchester United. You guys have said you want to see more of my tactics personally uh, in these challenges. So here you go. Fingers crossed it does well. Um, this is the team. Uh, there's there's a few players in here that I do know and that I have heard of. Uh, this striker here actually has got eight goals in the Bundesliga this season. Hard Nielsen. He's a pressing forward or an advance forward. Looks relatively well balanced. Norwegian. Um, Norwegian international. Yes, 14 caps, two goals. And But he's not quite the Norwegian striker in the Bundesliga that everybody wants. He looks okay. I think he can score some goals for me uh, in this team. Um, I'm going to need uh, some output out of these uh, inside forwards here. Uh, Horta, maybe is that how you say this guy's name? Again, he looks relatively deadly. He's going to play as an inside forward on the right hand side for me, I think. Um, and then also we've got Julian Green, who from memory is relatively quickly quick. N no, he's okay. The American. Um, we've got some okay players here. Obviously, we've got Fine on loan. Um, he comes in. He's obviously on loan from Bayern Munich. We don't really have the funds to go out and make some more loans, so we're going to have to deal with what we've got in the squad right now. The squad isn't the, the deepest. In terms of the development centre, we do have a five-star potential a goalkeeper, Lasses Schultz. Um, goalkeeper's probably not an area that I need impacted right away. Uh, defensive midfielder at a two-star, probably not going to get into this team, unfortunately. So I think it's going to be a case of what we got right here is all we've got. So we're going to have to see what we can do here. Um, as I said, the staff situation is really, really poor. I'm going to get my head down. We're going to sort out the staff situation and we are going to get into this first game here where we take on Stuttgart on TV at home. It's a very good team to start with. I'll see you in a sec, guys. So then guys, we are back. It is time for that first game of the season. As you can see, though, 
we've uh, we've been busy. We've been busy. We've gone in and we've rehired and resorted and redistributed all of our staff. I started first of all with the coaching staff. We are not the best in any of these categories, but in terms of what we can actually bring and what we can offer, we are uh, much much better than what we were when I took over the club. The two medical staff that are missing, the head of sports science and the sports scientist. I am still working on these. They are people that I am trying to hire. As you can see, I've got these two new gen uh, coming in uh, in that sports science department, but uh, I've not been able to get them over the line just before this particular game. Um, in terms of things, though, naturally, we've got no money. I did mention that. Uh, we still don't. I've got 70k to work with, but even if I move it all into uh, all into wages, that, that gives me around 5k a week to play with. Yeah, which I... Honestly, I don't think is going to improve this side at all. Uh, we've got a January transfer window that we will play through. We've got some players who are wanted, but it's all sort of like end of contracts and stuff. Um, so annoyingly, not really anything that is going to gonna bolster us at all. We take on Stuttgart today. They're a team in sixth, actually, um, but they do have a minus goal difference. They've got double our amount of points, but they are... And also not particularly great. It looks like they're going to play a five back. So I'm hoping our inside forwards uh, can cause some damage here. The relationships between these guys are uh, not great, I must admit. Uh, but fingers crossed we can kind of work on that. The team dynamic, again, not really the best. Uh, so let's see if we can go into this and make an impact on our debut as manager of this team in the Bundesliga. As I said, I love their kits. I love their badge. Um... Let's hope we can be lucky. Stuttgart have won three of their last five. No, it's probably not. Uh, it's time to put an uh, end to this poor run. When I did my team meeting with the with the squad before we got into things, um, they actually uh, seem relatively positive with stuff. Um, I just said, let you know, let's get our head down. Let's try and avoid this relegation battle. And it seemed to go pretty well. They are playing that three back or three or five back, whichever you prefer to look at it, um, as we take to the field here on this first game of this campaign um so if we go into key highlights and let's bump that speed up just a little bit uh that should get us back onto what we usually have so let's give the encouraged shank right off the bat uh as you can see we are the team in white and stuttgart are the team in red as we kick off our campaign here uh I need to address some of the some of the screens on here, but I will do that in between the next match as we rifle a free kick there against the post. Good little move for us here. Obviously, we are on the team at home, but Stuttgart, you know, double the points that we've got. Um, they obviously can can show that they can win some points in this division as the ball goes all the way through to our goalkeeper. And we flick that on. And that is a nice pass, but the striker that we've got, uh, Nielsen, is not the quickest off the mark um, as Green goes flying in there re relatively dangerously. Um, that's a good ball. It's sort of carved us a little bit, and that is in the back of the net. But I think it might be offside. A little bit of a warning sign of this potentially high line that could cause us some issues, but the goal has been disallowed so far. Um, that's going to be a tight... It's a good run from him, but... Yeah, he's quite clearly off, isn't he? I thought he looked offside, and that has been confirmed by VAR and the assistant. I'm going to give him another encouraged shout. It seemed to work quite nicely at the start of the game. Mayhofer up the line to one of the inside forwards, Bauer. Hugma. Jetro Willems is actually one of the players that I actually did know in this squad. Green into Nielsen, into the penalty area. He slotted. Is this one offside as well, though, guys? That could be... Oh, Nielsen's done a somersault. And we are going to VAR for the second time this game. The first one was uh, ruled out. Our goal still stands. Havard uh, Nielsen with the goal. Green with a nice pass into Nielsen. Takes a good touch there. Gets it out of his feet really, really nicely. And then slots it back to goalkeeper inside 20 minutes. That is a very, very good open in exchange for us really first half an hour in charge of this team three five shots now two on target uh, versus nothing for Stuttgart absolutely nothing at all we're going to praise the boys this is what I'm going to be quite key on uh, this time around is just playing the game having slow steady results but also just 
really really making sure that the team dynamic is good saying that the boys are doing well hitting them with that praise and just giving it as much support as humanly possible just to raise that dynamic and then hope for the best there i'm going to give them another bit of praise here keep them at high spirit going into this second half that is an hour gone and we've got another highlight here throwing for us on the right hand side may hoffer his uh, cross gets cleared but it looks like stuttgart sat really really deep here bauer into the middle overlap here inside forwards inside the penalty area that's a calamitous mistake from the stuttgart goalkeeper Achorta, uh fires it in i mean that's a, that's a shocking bit of goalkeeping isn't it bauer into nielsen sees the run the overlap happens the inside forwards there gets there the goalkeeper goes for the slide challenge and then sliding in getting his hands on it i don't know it's a little bit of a dodgy dodgy effort there from the stuttgart goalkeeper and they've just made a substitution themselves um all in all though guys i think i think ultimately this is a very very good start to our tenure um 15 minutes to go less than that now let's make let's 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 look at making some changes maybe for the sake of fitness julian green looks quite tired uh tillman can come on i don't know if he's got any ability whatsoever looks like he can play that position all right to be honest um so we will make that change and then we have anyone else who's struggling fitness wise both inside forwards are quite tired got another highlight here with five to go here comes mangala and Mehoffer gets across with a very nice challenge there. But it goes back to Mangala. The square option's there. The goalkeeper forces a good, uh, makes a good save. I'm forced into actually doing something. And we're into the final few minutes. I'm just going to chuck in a final praise shout. We've got four minutes of added time. Which, oh, I was going to say, which are over. But we've got a highlight right on the end here. And we concede to Mavropanos who scores his first goal of the season just after the 94th minute, I will add. Um, SI, naughty. Uh, but... Five minutes gone. We get a 2-1 victory on our first game as manager at Greuterfurt. Um, And ultimately, guys, the victory is what matters. Uh, two assists for the guy in central midfield, I think. And then two goals, one for the striker, one for the inside forward on the right-hand side. Ultimately, well done, boys. Very, very good result against a team that are much higher than us in the table. We've now closed that gap. We are now two points, in my opinion, away from safety. You'd never want to be in these relegation playoffs if you if you can help it um so that is a very very good result for us i'm worried about the minus 15 goal difference but ultimately a lot of the teams in the bundesliga right now don't have a very good goal difference so we're gonna have to see what we can do there what i'm gonna do guys is 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 i'm gonna get my head down and we are gonna come back for i'll just instant result it but i'll show you the game against wolfsburg if there's been any updates so you can see how our first few games in charge have gone obviously we take on uh byfeld here there are the team in 16th so the result is quite Kind of key there and mine's the team in 15th so again these results are quite big um, i'll bring you back for the game against wolfsburg and then we can see how things are getting on and then we'll come back a little bit further in the season i'll see you in a bit guys so then guys transfer window is over this was my last opportunity to impact this team in a positive way and we have had some transfers go on so if we go into the transfer history julian green has left the club he is now a atlanta united player the american winger has gone back uh over the pond and he is now playing his football over in the mls um not a position he wasn't he, he couldn't play a position that we needed specifically not as his key position so i was happy to let him go for 650k i tried to make some loans happen annoyingly uh th they they didn't um i brought in a uh, bright ali and uh the center back from bayern um he is a good depth option as you can see he is my second best center back now um all we had to pay for him uh, and his services was the wages um and he has made a relatively positive start for us thus far since joining um since we took over though we are still unbeaten in those three games um obviously you saw us take on stuttgart on cam uh then we took on armenia uh uh, Be Be Byfield, Belfield, Byfield, whatever. Uh, we drew 1-1. Annoyingly, they scored in the 90th minute. Really, really frustrating, that one. Uh, Hogma, Hugma, um, having a bad performance there, prompted me to go out and get uh, that other defender. Um, then it was a bit of a mess um, against Mines at home. Uh, we took the lead. They had a, We had a man sent off. They had a man sent off. And then they scored later on. Um, the fitness isn't really there in this particular team just yet. 
but we are still unbeaten we are trying to recoup things in terms of the competitions though if we scroll down we are still bottom of the league um and we are still four points away from safety behind mines um and obviously there are a few teams in between but we need to keep picking up these points it was a very positive start uh let's see what can happen today uh we've been bottom of the league ever since this game week here uh so it's a lot to kind of recover but early signs are good we've got enough games to kind of make it happen um so what we're going to do is we are going to take on Wolfsburg in this particular installment of the uh of the update um what we're going to do though this is the team it is still pretty much as expected for that first part um except when we've we, we're kind of switching the strike force around and trying a few different things um and that's 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 pretty much all we can do really um but what I am going to use is the power of the Vint skin which has this instant result button up here if you want, uh, want the Vint skin or wonder why my fm looks different to yours is using a custom skin which is linked down in the description below uh, that will take you to fm scout you can download the skin there so we will hit this instant result button if we don't want to watch things and um, lots of the players as you can see they're uh, lacking with fitness issues so fingers crossed we can kind of do okay here it's eighth versus 18th the battle of the two white and green logos with the instant result we draw 1-1 one, one, but we've got two players sent off <laughs> sake um right okay two red cards is not good 77th minute and 70 uh, 83rd minute again really really frustrating but again we remain unbeaten we managed to pick up another point uh but we need to start turning these vic uh, these draws into victories a lot of one ones here and i think it's mainly because we aren't as fit as uh the other teams um we got hertha berlin next which is going to be very very interesting it's a team that i used in the glory hunter last year i loved hertha berlin i used them in the pentagon challenge last year uh, so it's going to be an interesting one what i'm going to do though guys is i'm going to play a few more games uh, and i'll bring you back for this game against frankfurt we'll do much the same here do a little bit of a stop in a little bit of an update and you guys can see how we are getting on i'll see you then right then guys this is the penultimate check-in before the end of the season and this is the current state of play we are going to take on frankfurt again with that instant result we are currently 17th in the table we are two points adrift of safety and uh, we've got Bochum and hoffenheim are the two teams above us three points takes us up to mines into 14th uh, and we've opened a little bit of a gap with the team below us we are now six points above them however that doesn't really help us we need to start looking up not down um in terms of the schedule and how we've got on since you were last with me you saw the 1-1 one -one draw against Wolfsburg were actually relatively difficult to beat for the majority of teams we drew with her the Berlin uh, we took on Bayern it wasn't great I'll be completely honest with you guys we took on Bayern we lost 7-1 away from home that was never going to be a game that we were going to win doesn't matter we then took on Cologne at home beat them 2-1 um two good goals there by fine and uh Horta is how I'm going to say that guy's name I'm going to say it incorrectly or wrong or different at least every single time guys so please do bear with me uh, we then took on Bochum one of the teams that are down with us we took them on away from home and got defeated uh really really frustrating that one we then took on RB Leipzig drew one one again another draw we have the lead it seems to be a common thing in the, with this team we have the lead we get the lead earlier early doors or i say early doors we get the lead and then we just throw it away it's really really irritating i'm trying to make the changes in game to sort of combat that but it's it's, it's not not going to plan just yet we then took on freiburg at home we seem to be pretty solid at home and then we're trying to you know pick up a point points here and there away from home um we took on freiburg at home we beat them four three very good first half performance um from from us there it was two two at half time i don't think it deserved to be two two at half time uh and then we got that winner in the end with an 89th minute goal um we are going to take on frankfurt in a in a quick sim here as you can see though all the games on tv which is very very interesting but this is going to be the penultimate check-in uh before we come back on that final day of the season against Salzburg to see if we can stay in the division i'm not looking forward to taking on Dortmund here I believe they do still have Erling Haaland so that's gonna be a rough one um but anyway Frankfurt today and the Bundesliga let me let me show you this on this side of the screen this is the current state of play minus 20 in terms of that goal difference um but we are climbing slowly 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 just by being difficult to beat um this goes to show guys you don't need to be elite to not get relegated just be very hard to score against basically and we go into the tactical meeting 
uh, no huge things uh, changed here. You know what I'm like, guys. I never do OIs or anything like that. Uh, thanks to the brilliance of GYRFM telling me that it's, it's not really required. Um, let's do the old quick pick there. That'll sort out my bench. This is the team going into it, though. Uh, we got the main man up top, actually, Abranimir Horta. Um, since I've come in, he's actually scored a lot of goals. Um, so he is now the main man as that advance forward. And we move Nielsen over to the left-hand side. Uh, these sort of did swap around a little bit. Um, but there we go. Yes, this is going to be the team. And we're going to hit that instant result button again, guys. But as you oh, before we get into that, what I will say, the tactical familiarity of the team is definitely moving up. Um, we've got players playing in, in positions that aren't natural to them. That's why they're all a bit ropey. But the, the more games we play, the better we get at understanding the tactic, which is why it's so important to give tactics time. If you come in mid-season like I have, you need to give it time. You really need to give it time. So we've hit that instant result button. We are away at Frankfurt. I'm not expecting anything out of here. As I said, we're trying to win our home games and get points on the road. Oh, yes. What a result that is. We kind of played really, really well, you know, away from home. 21 shots, 11 on target boss them in terms of the xg we didn't win that possession battle but ultimately they didn't do a great deal with it with only three shots on target we get another three points guys and that moves us up into 16th which is actually the relegation playoff but we are level on points with mine so we need to keep keep on this we are doing so so well um fingers crossed we can kind of survive and sort of push things a little bit closer towards the end of the season jetro williams i will say has been playing absolutely out of his skin um it doesn't look like it with only four assists but since i've been here he's been brilliant he's been man of the match so many times um absolutely smashing stuff so as i said that was the penultimate check-in look at look, look at the results since we've taken over very very consistent um it seems like we score we score in every game which is nice. Gives you a good chance of winning, doesn't it? Um, so we've got a few games here. There's some in here which are a little bit ropey. Mush and Gladbach, um, they did beat them earlier on in the season before I took over. Got those. Hoffenheim, Leverkusen, Union Berlin, Dortmund, and then Augsburg on the final day of the season. So we've got the team in third. And the team in 13th, 6th, 14th, 2nd, and then 11th. So it's like good game, bad game, good game, bad game. Um, so let's see how we can get on. I'll be back at the final day of the season to see if we can survive. Right then, guys, it all comes down to this. This is the final day of the season in the Bundesliga, and it's in our own hands we take on Augsburg away from home we are now in 14th in the Bundesliga table but if certain results go against us we can quite easily drop back in I mean Union Berlin are the team most at risk here they take on uh, Bochum who are the team just above us Hoffenheim take on Gladbach who are trying to secure themselves a Champions League spot so maybe things will happen there obviously we are taking on Augsburg they're the team below us if they beat us um then we could be in a spot of bother we could still go down we could go into a relegation playoff there is so much that could happen here and I'm gonna leave it up to the FM gods with the instant result um in terms of the schedule though you were last here for the victory against Freiburg. Since then, results have been relatively patchy, but we have had some good results since then. Uh, we took on uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach. We lost 3-0 uh, at home to them. As I said, they are a team trying to qualify for the Champions League, so no shame there. We then took on Hoffenheim away from home. We got a 2-1 victory there. Uh, Cedric Itten with the late, late goal. Uh, giving us that two goal cushion we did still ship a late one though which is really really irritating Bayern Leverkusen uh, were the next team in town and they beat us 3-2 uh, uh, again 95th minute goal um, really really frustrating we were 2-0 down Schick and Jonathan Tarr with the goals for Leverkusen um, we managed to pull it back two goals in five minutes made it 2-2 had another player sent off that seems to be a common theme we're having a lot of red cards at the moment which is really irritating and then obviously they made the extra man advantage count in that 95th minute. Um, so then we took on Union Berlin, uh, drew 1-1 there. Again, another sending off in this one, this time for uh, the home side. They took the lead after that sending off, even with 10 men. And then we managed to get it back to a draw. We took on Dortmund. We really didn't deserve to win this. We got absolutely peppered uh, throughout the course of the game. Uh, but Cedric Itten popping up with two goals again. Um getting getting us in a good position inside that first half and then Donald Marlin and uh, Erling Haaland uh, got Dortmund back on level footing uh, and we were managing to see out the game there which was quite nice and as I said we take on Augsburg away from home today um 
So this is going to be really, really interesting. That is the sort of brief update. It looks like they're going to play a 4-4-2. This is the team going into it. I'm just going to pop that there. Uh, so this is the team going into it. Not really, not really changed too, too, too much to be honest. Um, Bayern, I have to say, uh, recalled their their player that we had on loan because he wasn't really playing for us. I thought he was going to be a depth option. I did, I couldn't remember that. I promised them first team football. Uh, so unfortunately, the Bayern manager pulled him back. I completely understand why he's done that. It is what it is. Um, so this is this is the team. This is what we're going to go with. Um, we've had some very good goal scorers come in and do the business. Um, unfortunately for us, Nielsen is suspended for this one. Our, our second top goal scorer uh, with 11 goals. He is unfortunately suspended for this one. So I'm going to leave this in the hands of the FM gods. We're going to hit this instant result button. If we go into a relegation playoff, I will show you that one as well. If we survive, we survive fantastic. If we get the victory, that's even better. We may finish even higher up the table. Um, so that is going to be very, very interesting as well. And the FM gods say we win 3-1. We are a good team. <laughs> I'm happy with this tactic, to be honest. I didn't think it was going to do this well, um, especially in Germany. We win 3-1. Itten with another two goals there. Augsburg um, don't, luckily for them, because of their goal difference. I'm just looking at it now. My mic stands in the way. Um, they don't drop into the relegation zone, uh, relegation playoff. We finished the season on 37 points. Nine victories, 10 draws, 15 defeats, which isn't the end of the world. Uh, Armenia Beifeld and Union Berlin get relegated. Hoffenheim go into that uh, relegation playoff and Augsburg survive. Um, Hoffenheim losing there with two players sent off against Gladbach as well. Uh, Union Berlin losing 4-1 at home again. A little bit of a yikes there. But we survive. We, we survive. Four from four on this now. And we've still got one of these left to go. That will be Italy. Uh, and we will get that out to ASAP. Because I'm really enjoying these challenges. Trying, trying stuff with different teams and different different things. And this is never going to be a team that I'm going to manage in a real uh, real safe. Uh, moving things forward. Um, especially as I'm trying to you know, do different things in different countries around Europe at the very least. This was very interesting though. Um, if you have enjoyed it, drop a like on the video down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And until next time, guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I'll see you on another one very, very soon.